Welcome, welcome to the new this week video for January thirty first. I'm not taking uh, that out. No, that's okay. It's... Ah, total professionals, uh, right? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, this is how we're starting off this this week. I've got, I'm here. You sure we've got, you're here? We've got V here, oh, not boy. five. We got Scotty V here today. Uh, um, got a nice small week and just gonna be a lot of fun, I guess. It's gonna be one of those episodes. <laughs> We're going to start it off uh, with the Blaze Comics, The Agent, number two. I enjoyed number one a lot. I'll be reading number two. Yeah, I'll try it. Should be good. Yeah, see? We had Mr. Positivity here yeah, next to me yeah. today. <laughs> For now. You got yelled at for being negative. Yeah. Corey was more negative than you were when we were together. Well, I was also accused of being stuck in 95. Well, so. yeah. Well, you should learn your history, too. Oh, um, oh, the whole cat. Yeah, yeah. Supergirl, thing. Supergirl had a cat way before Marvel. Marvel <coughs> Meow did. Yeah. But I, I, we should explain it. We were our sarcasm was we, we don't care either way. Mm. We I know Supergirl had a cat since the sixties. Nobody's cared since the sixties. <laughs> then Marvel Meow came out. And then the next week there was a cat on a video. It wasn't DC ripping off Marvel or Marvel ripping off DC. It was just nobody cares. I just don't care about Supergirl, yeah. and I didn't know anything about a cat. Hey now, hey. Yeah. Hey. What? I said I didn't care. It doesn't mean you don't care. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about a lot of Supergirl stuff going on. She's not coming out this week. No. Nope. But uh, we've got American Psycho number three. This is definitely going to be a weird yeah. episode. Yeah, I don't I don't care. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't watch the movie. Don't care about the comic. Um, this book I like, though. Charred Remains. Mm -hmm. you got to watch out for the fireman. Mm-hmm. The he like sets people on fire. Yeah, it's it's, it's he's, he's weird. Yeah, it's, you know, watch he, out for the fireman. Is he like a regular guy or? I don't know. He's he's, he's all I know is that the fireman got killed by the fireman. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here comes mediocre Simon Spiria, Coda number five. That's his own thing though. So if he wants a mediocrity in his own stuff, that's okay. But there was one guy that last week that I, I found very amusing. Oh yes. Um, you're giving him the benefit. You're giving him a lot of credit for calling him just mediocre. Had a good laugh over that. Yeah, I I, I, I chuckled. Uh, Dark Ride number ten. This this book's been selling very very well. Ooh, <coughs> my favorite universe, the Massive Verse. The Massive Verse. Oh man, the yep. Dead Lucky number eleven is from the Massive Verse. <laughs> this is the best verse in the world. If you're not reading anything from the Massive Verse, mm -hmm. you are probably better off in life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought we were trying positivity today. I am. I'm being positive that you don't want to read the Massive Verse. <laughs> How long was that? Two minutes? <laughs> uh, the Devil That Wears My Face, issue number four from David Peepos. Uh, P. Peepos? P E P O S E? Peepos? Peepos? I don't know, but I like this guy. Um. Uh, he, he's the one that's... I think he's writing The Punisher right now. I'm not sure. Okay. But um, I think he is. Mm -hmm. I hope he is, because I kind of like The Punisher yeah. right now. But um, he's written a, he written a few books for a few independent companies that, mm -hmm. that's, that was really good, so... I know he's writing something for Marvel. Yep. I can't remember for sure if it was Punisher. Yep. And then we've got uh, Drive Like Hell, number four. So that's an autobiography? Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, yeah that's, that's my thing. I can confirm he is, in fact, writing Punisher. All right. All right. Go, Dave. <clears throat> Joshua Williamson. Wait, is that Dead? Uh, this Dark Ride is a Joshua Williamson book, I believe, too. It's, this guy just puts out books, too. He's got Duke number two coming out. From the G.I. Joe cartoon. Yes. Yep. You a G.I. Joe fan? I like the cartoon, yes. Yeah. I haven't really... I tried the Marvel... G.I. Joe years ago, but yeah. I haven't really yeah. read anything else. I'm not big on the Joe, but I mean, I understand why mm -hmm. people are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and it all the Joe, Joe stuff selling pretty well right now. So, Tony Daniels, Edge, Eden Wood, number four. Always like some Xenoscope stuff. Got great covers. Grim Fairy Tales, number 80. I like this book a lot. Yeah. Yep. Harriet Tubman, the Demon Slayer. And she is definitely slaying a lot of demons. Oh, number five. Number five. Oh. Jumped ahead of myself. One job. You yeah. have one job. <laughs> one job. You read the cover, <laughs> the name of the book, and what issue it is, and then you show it to the camera. 
Well, I failed. Oh, God. I, I think, you know, I may suspend myself. I may put you in charge next week. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we'll see how well you do it. <laughs> that would be an epic fail. Yeah. And we had Jill and the Killers, number one. I'm definitely going to try this book. It's an Oni Press book. Um, I'm not really sure who writes it. Olivia Coetoro Briggs or something. But I, you know something? It's Jill and the Killers. I mean, how can you not want to just... That title just makes me want to want to do it. I mean, like Jill and the Killers? Like, mm -hmm. she's hanging out with the Killers? She's or trying to, she's trying to catch the Killers? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. But I'm trying this. Okay. I'm trying this book. The, the artwork is... Not that bad. Not that bad. Yep. Artwork is doable. So, I'm going to give it a shot. Philadelphia, number 33. Spawn's been showing up in here. Now it looks like we got a little savage dragon also. I mean, I guess it's the only way you're going to get a savage dragon if he shows up in another book. I mean, not that we actually really want to see savage dragon. Yeah. But hey, I, I'll give Eric Lawson credit. He's been doing that book since the beginning. He's still doing it. and yeah. uh, So, King... Unfortunately, you don't have any customers for it. Yeah, I got like one that wants, yeah. that wants to read that book now. King Spawn, number 30. Nice cover. That's a nice cover. Don't want to get bit by that thing, but what about Local Man number nine? I don't know anything about that. I haven't been reading Local Man either. It's Tim Seeley though, he's he's, he's uh, a Tony Fleas and Tim Seeley. Yeah, he's good. Or we could flip it and we could have Local Girl. Double feature. Yeah, whichever one you want. What do you want to read? What cover you want to look at? I think there's two stories in there too. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Two, two for the price of one. Yeah. And now we've got Moon Man, number one. And this isn't part of Massiverse, so it could be good. <laughs> what about Orcs, The Gift? Do you know anything about this? Yes, I've liked that book so far. Issue two. And this is like a, is this a second series, a third series yeah, of The Orcs? it's a third series. Yeah. It's been fine. Yep. V's into The Orcs. All right. If I, if, I, if I was in the woods and came across this guy, I'd turn around and run the other way. Yeah, We've got Quest number five from Jonathan Luna. I don't know if this is the good Luna or the bad Luna. One abuses the other one, so I don't know if this is a guy that abused or if this is a guy that's the abuser. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Luna mm -hmm. brothers, e either one of them, yeah. th but some people are. Well, there's a Luna book. Quest number five, scary guy on the cover. <clears throat> Garth Ennis, Jason Burroughs, can't go wrong with, with that uh, combination. The Ribbon Queen, number seven. I like that. Yeah, this is a good book. Yeah, pretty good. I'm only on issue five, but I'm, you'll, I'm close. You'll, you'll catch up at some point. I will catch up, yes. Well, that's been good. For the six people who love the oversized books, we've got one from Distillery. Um, it's a bedtime story, too. Somna, number... Is there a number on the front cover here? Nope. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's on the back. Yep. Somna number two. I'm not sure why they do the oversized books. I don't either. I mean, you got you got an extra large art, and I mean sometimes that looks good, but I'd just rather have just a regular size yeah. comic book. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good with that too. I'm not a big fan of the oversized stuff. You want to make an oversized book, make it oversized as thick. Mm -hmm. Not oversized like yeah. that. And it's eight dollars too, or nine dollars on top of it. So yeah, it's like nine bucks. It's yeah. hard to you're going to have to get special bags for it if yeah. you try to... Yeah. They're called magazine bags. Oh. Yeah. Magazine bags and boards uh, and maybe a box. Yeah. So who's going to want to do that? Right, right. You'll have, you'll have All one. All that extra effort for... Yeah, right. It's easy. You already get the other stuff. I don't know. But they, they feel special. So now we've got uh, Star Trek Picard's Academy number uh, five. I got nothing to say about this no. book. Okay. How about Siphon number three? I don't know anything about that book. I haven't read it either. I think my wife's look at is reading it. Or it could be on a short list of what she's reading mm -hmm. now. I don't know. And then we got James Tynan. Um, World Tree number seven. This guy just keeps on pumping out the books. Yep. I mean, as much as we tease him and yeah, stuff, but uh the guys the guy and the guy a lot of it's quality too. Mm -hmm. It's uh I mean, to be able to pump out a lot of books and put out quality at the same time, it says something. I hope he keeps it up. Because we need we need more we need more quality in the world. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a great week. There's only like six DC books, so this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> this will be a short video. Yeah. Oh yeah. And three out of the six of Batman. So what a shot. <laughs> so we've got Batman Off World number three. I didn't try that one. 
It's just too many Batman books. I agree. I agree. And then, you know, something's like, do we really want to see him in space? No. Not really, but, you know, I've, I've got a lot of feedback from this. A lot yeah. of people like this book. I don't, I don't know, but it was, again, it's it's a bazillion Batman books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got Batman and Robin Annual. That I am reading. I've liked it. Our work hasn't been the greatest, but I think it's better now. But in the beginning, it was like the computer generated stuff you hate. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that stuff. This is was, well, it's an annual too, so it's not. It's written by Williamson. Um, I don't think. Um, I don't. I, I think it's uh, Zadarsky's doing the regular book, right? I believe so. And we've got World's mm. Finest, Batman Superman World's Finest Annual. Bumblebee's in this issue. Right. Is it the is it the Transformers Bumblebee? No, unfortunately uh, it's not. So it's just a giant bug that we can swat down well, with some raid or whatever. If you look at the cover. Oh. Well we can swat we can swat her down then. Yeah. Yeah. Get some raid. Bumblebee's right down here. And I don't think it's a I don't think it's a it's a honeybee. I think it's a wasp. Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard good things about it, but I've just never been a Superman fan. That book sells awesome. Like the, a lot of people like this Batman World's Finest book, um, but I'm I yeah. again I don't care anymore. I've lost I've lost interest. Like I'm about lost interest in this video right now too. <laughs> we're, headed, we're headed down the tracks and we're on fire. Yeah. Uh, we got DC Power 2024 celebrating the Black Excellence across the DCU. Giant size. They usually do one of one of these a year. Giant size um, anthology book. Mm-hmm. Um, and usually with an anthology book, you can find you can find two or three two or three stories that are that are that are good. So that's what we got there. And we've got Green Lantern or the Alan Scott Green Lantern number four. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I wanted to try it, but no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not me either. We're not. We're not doing it, but. It, again, it's a it's a it's a guy with a Green Lantern. I don't really like a lot of Green Lantern guys. Nope. And we've got Tys- Titans Beast World number six. The pain has finally ended. Thank God. <laughs> and that's the end of that. You blinked and it was over. Yep. Marvel, Avengers Inc. number five. Too bad. I really like that book. I did too, and this is this is this is the end. Um, there's a lot of different Avengers books that are out right now that are garbage, and this one this one's actually pretty good. Oh, speaking of garbage, yep. and I hate it because I I mean I'm a fan of Chip Zdarsky too, mm-hmm. um, but I don't really like Daniel Acuna's artwork because I'm no, not I'm not a big fan. I've never but liked his artwork. Uh, Avengers Twilight number two. This will not be coming home. But what definitely won't be coming home... Or a character I could care less about... Yeah, is this book. Carnage, number three. It would be tough to get me to read this book. I mean, Ed Brubaker wrote it. I'd, yeah. probably, I'd probably look at it. Mm-hmm. You know, Garth Ennis or somebody, Mark Miller. Um, but overall, yeah, you, you've touched it. And I'll tell you what book's not getting read. Ultimate That book. But that's a little while down. We won't have to talk about that for, you know, February. Could be next week then. Mm-hmm. Great. <clears throat> something to look forward to. Glenn. Yeah, there's something to look forward to. A book written and drawn by Peach Momoko. No. This is this is the best book of the week right now, if it stayed true. Dead X Men number one. That's what most of the world is wor- is wishing. They stay dead. Kill them. Gone. Never have to see them again. But unfortunately. They're a big money maker for Marvel. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, they'll bring them back. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah. I actually enjoyed the first issue with this. I did. I'm glad they got rid of the stupid rings he was wearing on his arm. Me too. Me too. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, issue number two. Gang War. Got Incredible Hulk number eight. That's a badass ghost rider right Mm -hmm. there. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars Battle World number three. I've liked that so far. So have I. Tom DeFalco, thank you for writing for writing another book. Stay around, write some more. Tell tell the higher ups of Marvel, you need me. You need Tom DeFalco. <laughs> and we'll buy your books. Marvel Voices Legends number one. Marvel Voices does 
mm-hmm. books. I don't know quarterly or something. Uh, there seems like there usually like four or five ones that come out a year. Is it a preview or just sto- no? No, it's, it's just yep, yeah, no, just it, yep. It's all it's all all different stories. It's another anthology. Another yeah. Let me speak English today. It's another anthology book. <laughs> Someone somewhere is going to say you barely speak English as it is. Yeah, yeah, I know. Here's the book that nobody needs to read. Why? Why does it exist? Why do we uh, need another no. Spider-Man related book right. in general? And never mind the book. Like, the character sucks. is awful. It's awful. Yeah, he's done nothing. And yeah, no, no, we don't need him. He's, I mean, he's in one of the other Spider-Man books, and every time I hope a building falls on him and he dies. But it's Spider Boy number three. The problem is they're going with that. Oh, you don't remember me, crap. It's like yeah, please. yeah. No, we don't remember. We don't want to remember. We hope you disappear and it's forgotten. It's just forgotten for the rest of our lives. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Oh. But that's what we have. We get Spider Boy. What is that? Some kind of man thing? It's man thing. Yeah, it's man thing. Two thousand ninety nine. Don't, don't be dissing on the man thing. You'd well, beware of the man thing. He looks more robotic in that. Burn! No. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> I've been burned. <laughs> we got Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, with the man thing. Issue number five. Burned or assaulted? Take your pick. Yeah. <laughs> I've, 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 enjoyed, I've enjoyed this book so far. And Spine Tingle and Spider-Man... Please end. Like, no, like, just yeah. Spider-Man books yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. I've had enough today. Uh, Spine Tingle and Spider-Man number four. I didn't pick that one up. I, I didn't care. I perused through issue one. Ooh. Some dude with a bird head. There's a guy with a bird head down there. I may have to read this. I mean, look at that right there. That guy is awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like it's almost like a, a an adult Howard the Duck, except it's like the adult eagle or something. I, I don't know, but I, I kind of like that. I think there's a horror book. It's like the I like the you know I like the artwork. I think I, I think I'm gonna go try issue number one. Okay. I mean I had no intention of reading this book, but that bird just got me excited. <laughs> I'm gonna try this book now and see where it goes. Hopefully it's good. Let me know in the comments. Bird is the word apparently. Yeah. Only one of these this week. Then what's going on? Star Wars. What's going on, Buff? Doc Doctor Afro. Only one Star Wars book this week, oh, Buff. What? Issue number forty. It's the fifth week. Uh, oh, that's true. So yeah, next week you get killed with like yeah. books, right? And we had, I think we had four last week. You know, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. No. And look at that. no. Oh, well, there's some no, evil robots no, here, no, but no dark droids. Oh uh, yeah, there's no, no dark droids. But it looks like a couple of these are dark droids on the on the cover here. But no dark droids. Thank God. People are happy that that story's over. Venom Lethal Protector: Life and Deaths. Trade paperback. And we're going to finish it off with Sabretooth War Part 2. Part 1 sold a l- incredibly well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wolverine issue number 42. Happy birthday, Logan. And somebody's head is being served on a platter. Bad things are happening. Yep. And sometimes that's good in comics. Mm. If it's, well, if, yeah. if the bad things are, they don't, the bad things happen and it it's, has consequences. Yeah, exactly. They don't come back to life. As long as there's consequences yeah. and at the end it's not, oh, status quo. Yeah, right. But we know what happens. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Wolverine has a Wolverine has a healing factor anyway, so his yeah. head's gonna grow back. You know, it's gonna probably do a little the thing thing. Legs gonna come out. It's gonna run around on the floor or whatever first. You know. <laughs> um, oh, we're done. What? Look at that. I mean, that's all we had for books this week. There's like 44 of them. That's it. So. Um, this is disappointing. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, what? I got a lot more to say today. What is? Uh, <laughs> well, anyways. Do you have anything to say? Do you want to no, say anything? No. You want to say bye or anything, or do you want me to just do the do the thing? Nobody you... wants to hear from me. Uh, all right. Well, I want to hear from you. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. I want to thank V here for uh, for being my partner in crime t- this week, and um, we'll do it all again next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>